Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky everybody, Alon Paul here with a video regarding our latest expedition that we currently have out right now. This is known as the Omega Expedition. Now, a lot of you have seen some playthroughs that have been uh, out by several of the other content creators, but I wanted to get my own video out there for you all to see. And there's a reason for that. There's certain ways you can do this that'll make things easier for you and you can get it done quickly. And, you know, this video is coming out about a week before it ends. So this will give you an option to uh, look at an alternative way to get this done. So we're going to do this from a fresh save, but I do encourage you to do it from one of your main saves as well. Um, just for one fact, even if you don't, if you've already done this before, you are getting about 10,000 Quicksilver from this particular expedition. That by itself is worth doing it. So let's get started. I'm going to do this from a fresh save myself. And we're not going to have a timer going. The video itself is our timer. And we're just going to go ahead and get things going with this video right now. Now, I have just opened up No Man's Sky. It takes a few extra seconds to get started. But while we're getting there, let's describe some of the things we need to do first on our starter planet. You need five key elements to make things work in this expedition. And they're the usual ones you might think of. You need oxygen, but you're going to need a lot more than you might think in order to get certain things done a little bit easier. So instead of saying 50 or 60 or 70 oxygen, get yourself at least 200. 225 to 250 is usually a good round number, and I'll show you why later. The second thing you'll need is carbon. Carbon is very important. I usually recommend getting about at least 250 to 300 to start with. You're going to get more later as a reward, and you're going to need to turn it into condensed carbon, which brings us to the third element as we start this up. There we go. The third element being condensed carbon. You need a decent amount of it. You'll need a couple hundred of it at least. A little bit more would be necessary to help build some things. So that's the third thing you need. The fourth thing is going to be uh, ferrite. You need a good amount of ferrite dust, of course, to get things going, uh, to get things started. Uh, you'll need a, quite a bit to start with, at least 100 to begin with. I recommend trying to get a couple hundred, but it's hard to come by on the starter planet. The fifth thing is sodium. You need a good amount of sodium just to get off this planet. I recommend getting at least 50. You'll get more later, but start with 50. And note the surroundings as you start out to see what's around you. The animals will attack you. There are at least three animals that attack you on this planet, so make sure your bolt caster's ready. The first thing you're going to do when we jump out of this is to scan six plants. So we're going to get started with that immediately. I'm just going to stand right here, and we're going to scan six plants. That's one. Get the small ones. Two. There should be another small one over here. Let's get this little guy here. Three. The one right in front of us. Nope, I think I already got that one. Oh, there's four. And don't forget that the hazardous flora is also considered plants, but these little guys here, that's five. And if you're having trouble finding any, go to the plants up above. That's a sixth one. You also need a few animals. I suggest getting at least four from this planet. From this planet, you won't uh, you won't get all eight, even though it has eleven, and you need eight animals all total to get your milestone. Get at least a few of them, and we'll get more as we go on. So now that we know where we're going, we know our ship is in that direction over there, and it's not very far away from us. But we'll need some elements, so let's get started. There's our first milestone completed. Let's go ahead and get our carbon while we're here. Now, because we've already uh, scanned these uh, these plants, we're going to get some condensed carbon from them, so I recommend getting it from these. They seem to give you a little bit more, but you notice I'm not getting a whole, whole lot, right? And the small ones especially. Nighttime, it's a little bit easier to find certain plants, and like the sodium and the oxygen, but the oxygen you can get from your hazardous plants pretty easily, especially the blow-up ones. All right, and we do have some rocks that were handy very close by. I'm going to go ahead and get those too. Again, you need at least about 100 ferrite. You're also going to need dihydrogen. I forgot about that sixth element. Dihydrogen is a very necessary one to get. You're going to need at least 90, but you're going to need a lot more later on. So just try to get it as you find it, okay? Now, I usually take a little bit longer to get off the planet than most people do. Just a heads up. 
Should be getting close to my limit that I wanted. Let's check. Yep, we're at about 400 right now. Got a good amount of condensed carbon. If you have a moment, rearrange the stuff inside your items here. And you can see there's certain things we need to get. We need at least 50 sodium so we can make sodium nitrate. So we'll get that later. All right, I'm going in the wrong direction, I know, but I saw something over here that'll help me out. Let's get that there. We're going to get some more ferrite. There it is, the blow-up plant. Okay. Take the three gas pods, and then take the plant out while you back away. And you see we're going to get about almost 90 out of it, so that's pretty good. All right, we have another one on the slope up there. We're going to grab that. We have some sodium nearby. Do a quick scan and look for other items. Now, the other things you need, you need three buried items. Look for buried cash. That's one right there. And you can also look for other things, too. Uh, we'll get to the plants in a moment. But you'll see that there's heptaloid wheat nearby. If you can find it, grab it. It is optional to get at this point, but we'll get some more later. So let's grab it while we can, because it is close by. Again, the animals may attack you, so be careful. Get items as you go. Scan the animals before they attack you if you can, but they're quick. I also recommend getting at least two to three words off this planet. The first one of these uh, stones that you come across will give you the first word, and it takes a couple moments to go through it, but it's definitely worth your time. See? Got an animal about to attack. So we're going to Scan them. Switch to there. And take them out before they take you out, please. It's worth it. The meat can be sold for money later on anyway. There we go. I'm going to grab some condensed carbon while we're here. And it looks like we have some dihydrogen here, too. So I'll grab that as we go. We only have a little bit here, apparently, so I'm not going to grab any more. We got another oxygen plant. I'm going to grab that. Again, I want at least 200. Just want to get away from it so I can get the last one. And charge depleted. That's why we got the extra carbon. There we go. Can't get that one. All right. And we're going to grab some sodium over here. We'll need a lot more than that. All right. Now, do we have... Let's do another quick scan, and we're going to look for stuff. And I do take a little bit more time, like I said, on these planets than a lot of the other people do. That was an animal. <laughs> Thought he was a rock. He was standing still. So that's four animals I've gotten thus far. Now, you won't be able to get the biggest condensed carbons, but the smaller ones you can still get. Get it while you can. more rocks. We're going to check that in a moment. We're going to also utilize some of the rocks that we're going to come across, uh, pardon me, some of the rusted metal we come across at our campsite. Let's see how much we've got. Good. Got a good amount. While I'm in here, I'm going to make myself one of these and one of those. I'm going to need them later. Okay, let's move on. Do another quick scan. Switch over because they're going to attack us again. I think I took them out pretty quickly there. Okay. Switch back to our mining. Another rock. We got some sodium ahead of us. This should be enough ferrite to get us started. And remember the buried items that we need to come across? There's one right there. Let's get three buried items. Again, heptaloid wheat and sweet root are your two items that you need to make some dough later. If you can find them, great. And you can get that even though it's underground. All right. Quick scan. And we got some more dihydrogen right there. Not a lot, but it's it's a start. We'll find a better patch close by our ship. Usually. But even I can't predict what our starting point is going to be like. Okay, love to grab that sodium nitrate, but not going to happen. Ooh, we got a nice plant here, too. Okay. 
There we go. Okay. How much sodium do we have? 31. We have not quite enough of the dihydrogen yet, but we're getting there. So since we're heading towards our ship, which is right over there, we're going to take another quick look around. I'm looking for buried items. And some sweet root would be nice, but I don't think, think I'm going to find any anytime soon. So I'm not going to worry too, too much about it. Let's head towards the ship and get things started, shall we? As we're already about uh, eight minutes into our video. Okay, so while I'm here, before I get anywhere, let me check these canisters. And I'm going to take the metal, because we're going to be using that. Oh, it's a good amount, too. And if you get out of it real quick, you can just take it while you're walking past. Okay? We don't need that. We could have done the same thing here, but that's okay. Okay. You also have some buried technology that should be nearby. Grab it. It's just free money laying there for you. Before we hit that little thing there, we're going to drop down the portable refiner they give you to start with. Put some that in there, and we're going to start getting this going, because we're going to need it. And, while we wait... Now, the thing about these animals, too, that are going to, going to attack you, you can scan them when you're done. And it looks like I have another animal right there. Good, and that's another attacker, by the way. So we're up to like six animals. We got pretty lucky with that. Now let's look for some buried items. Buried cash pretty close by. And pulpy roots aren't going to help us. Let's go ahead and head for the buried cash and get our next item while this is brewing, if you will. Ow, that really hurt. I will say that quite often, don't worry. Again. Okay, good. And there should be a knowledge stone right there. Let's go grab that real quick. Grab some sodium on the way. A little bit more oxygen ought to get us what we need. We don't even have to take out the plant this time. There we go. That's two words. Good deal. If we can get a third one, that'll be great, but we don't necessarily need it now. All right, we need one more buried item. Let's see what we got around us real quick here. More heptaloid wheat. Go figure. Yeah, like I really need it right now. That's okay. Oh, wait. Buried mineral. Perfect. You're going to have to dig this one up. There we go. Back to your mining beam. And this will give us our third item. Excellent. Okay. We definitely need this. This will get us up to the 100 that we need. And we can get more later. Oh, good. Crystal. We get more than one of those crystals, it's even better. We could use one more sodium plant if I can find it. There's one up there. Let's go grab that. We shouldn't need any more oxygen. We should be good there. Let me just double check. Oxygen is at 326. Yeah, we're doing fine on that. Let's go ahead and open those while we're here. Eptaloid wheat would be a great... Uh, pardon me, uh, sweet root would be a great bonus right about now, if we could get it. Impulse beans seem to be the only thing I'm going to be able to find here. We should be able to get it later. Oh, we got two plants. Excellent. That should give us enough. <laughs> you got me anyway. All right, so our ship is right here. Sometimes there's some sweet root up above, but we'll check that in a minute. Let's get back to our site. And you notice we also have... This doesn't always show up at every one of your crash sites, but grab the extra oxygen. It can't hurt you anyway. All right, so this is done. So we're going to grab our ferrite dust. I'm going to put half of it in there. And I only need... Uh, we really don't need all of it, but I'm just going to grab about 50 pure ferrite. It only takes a few seconds to do that. And while we're waiting, there we go. We're going to do our sodium nitrate while we're here as well. Got to find it. There it is. Just turn it all into sodium nitrate for now. 
And that should be the last thing we have to do in this particular item here. Let's go ahead and hit the round ball. I'm just going to go through it real quick, folks. We're not going to read everything. It's not the purpose of this video. The video's purpose is to teach you how to get this done as quickly as possible. That's done. Let's take a quick look and make sure there isn't any star bram uh, pardon me, uh, sweet root nearby. Of course, there's one that's going to show up at the last second. Nope, everything's pulpy roots. All right, so we're not going to worry about it. We do have a knowledge stone over there. I do want to check it for one more word if I can. Backpack does not get you far at all, but this one is pretty close by. And if I'm not mistaken... There we go. We should have a sweet root pretty close by. Let me check. I thought there was one on the slope over here. Look down, too, because you're on a weird, uh, weird area in here. Okay, I'm not seeing it, so we're going to go ahead and leave that till later. <laughs> As it is, Flora. Got me again. And we'll come back to it. So we got everything we needed to repair everything in our ship. We do need a dihydrogen jelly, so we're going to make that as well. There it is. And now we can repair things. Uninstall your rocket launcher. You don't really need it. Gives you a little more condensed carbon. Okay, we got everything we need now to fix all this. Remember that metal plate I made? Very good. You will need one more of these, so make one if you have the extra resources. Now let's get things fixed. Copper. See? We uninstalled that, so it gave us copper. This is the condensed carbon. We have plenty of that, so we'll do that again. And our oxygen. The last degree we won't be able to fix because it takes magnetized ferrite. We'll worry about that later. But while you're here, go ahead and fix your uh, multi-tool. We now should have the resources. There's the 50 we needed of that. And finally, one carbon nanotube. Obviously, we won't get silver here, so we're not going to worry about it. Move some things around, widen it out, because you're going to have to put some upgrades over here later. All right, and we're done. And that gives us scavenger, now that we've repaired everything. Go ahead and get in your ship. It's time to leave. Okay, here we go. Now, I prefer third-person view on my ship, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over. All right, and we're gone. So we got our plants, we got six of our animals, we got three buried items, we got a few more things to do. Now I am going to go into first person for just a moment, wrong button, and look for the planets. They are this way. The first one we're going to go to is our cold planet over here, so let's head in that direction. Now this cold planet, while we're on our way, we're going to go ahead and get our expedition rewards. There's our exobotany. And we'll have to go in and out of our menus every time. Scavenger, which gives us some very important stuff. It gives us sodium, gives us a little bit of nanites there as well. As you can see, decorative bar base parts. We're going to need that for later, 240 nanites. And then finally, this one, Ticket to Freedom, freedom which we're not going to really need. Navigation data you will need. And the salvage data from money is what we're going to get that one for. We do need to save at least one or two of those just to play it safe. Okay, so that gets us everything we need to start with. Anything else you need to do, like reorganizing your um, your inventory, would be a great idea right about now. We're not actually going to install these. You don't really need them, to be honest. So anything you have in here like this is great. I'm going to uninstall that. It gives me cadmium. That's one less thing I have to buy. And hyperdrive. Interesting. I'm going to probably sell that because it's probably worth more to be sold. And there's some items we're going to sell, too. Anyway, we're at the planet. Let's go ahead and head in. Now, while you're on your way in, don't forget that you need to take pictures of stuff, okay? I'm going to set that to a hot key so I can remember to do so. And as you come into the atmosphere, when you get that chime and the thing at the left that says initiating planetary approach, it means you can take a picture. Wait for the chime. There it is. And if you check, you'll see that that counted. There's my one. So you don't have to be on the planet. You just got to be inside its atmosphere. Now, when I approach a planet, I usually like to find some place to land that has a landing pad. You don't always get that fortunate when you first approach the planet. Do a couple scans, give yourself at least a couple extra moments, because finding a nice landing spot is always convenient, especially if it has its own landing pad. Try to head in a cardinal direction, like we're headed wrong, and I'm going to head this way. Look at that. A landing platform. Isn't that convenient? 
I'm going to go ahead and land. Now the good news here is that I can sell some stuff and pick up some minor items. I may not be able to get everything I need, but you're going to get your achievement right now. Look to the stars. So while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and talk to a couple of these guys. I'm going to get some extra words. So we have, what, three words so far. This will be number four. That's less you have to do at the space station. Five. There we go. And whoop, passed him. There we go. This is going to be number six. Now I know I should be hitting, hitting those ships and looking for stuff, right? Don't worry about it. Uh, looks like we can get eight of them here. Good. Here's number seven. And where'd the lumbering guy that goes? There he is, right there. Number eight. Good. So now we only got four more words to get. Let's hit the computer. And we're going to sell out our... And this doesn't always happen. If you don't have it here, you don't have to do it. I'm going to sell the Lemium, even though I could probably turn that into, into gold right now. Maybe I'll hang on to that. I'm going to sell... 16 of my salvage data and the Viking effigy that I don't need. So I've got a good amount of stuff, and you can only so sell these. Look, you get 50,000 for these. Go ahead and grab it, man. That's free money right there. Now, go into the buy menu, purchase as much ferrite dust, which isn't a lot. And I'm going to need, and I recommend getting three magnetic resonators. Uh, wait a minute, two. Two magnetic resonators. So you can get a hermetic seal here. We're fortunate to get that. And we're going to need five of these. I think we need four more. No, let's get all five. There we go. I got five. There really is... Oh, they have silver? Well, what do you know? I'm going to put that in my ship inventory. A magnetized ferrite. That is fantastic. That'll go in my main inventory. Then I'll grab a couple metal plates. You don't really need them too early on, but it's nice to have them. All right. Good deal. Now, I need to get my escape velocity. That gives me more upgrades, including base computer plants. Now, there's been a problem with the base computer plans not coming up properly when you plant it down to get the next episode, uh, pardon me, the next milestone. Um, I do use this. Use your teleport receiver for your ship. You're going to need it. Uh, that's fine right where it is. Okay, and we're going to put these over in the other inventory because they're worth a lot. And there's our base computer. See? Right there? Good. Okay, let's drop down and build a base. And I'm going to show you the trick to getting the base to pop up. Somebody else showed this to me. And I want to show it to you now. Now, while that's doing all that nonsense, I'm going to put this down too, because I need some things. We need to get that silver going. This is actually gold. We're going to get that 125 gold, so that's going to be very handy to have. The next thing I need to do real quick, and we're going to get this going in just a moment, get the terrain manipulator. You need a lot of sil silicate powder, because you need to make glass. I suggest going digging a quick hole and doing it this way. You need 300. Yep, that's good. I got almost 400. That's fine. Alright. So let's go ahead and back into here. And we're going to drop our silicate powder in. I'm going to find it first. There it is. And you need 8 glass. Get that started. Okay, let's do our base computer now. Okay. Now... While it's doing the pullback, you can go into your menus, check things out, make sure everything's right where you need it to be. Uh, let's see. So we've got a good amount of magnetized ferrite. We're in good shape there. All right. Good. Now, you notice the mission isn't coming up. So the mission you're looking for is homecoming. It's selected, but it won't come up. On your keyboard, if you're playing with PC, hit the H button to show the items at the bottom right. Right down there. Just press it a few times. And there you go. Kicks it into high gear, and you're able to get it done. Now, you're going to be very surprised at what I'm about to do. So, I'm going to go back into this real quick, and I'll pull the glass out, because we're going to need it. I'm going to store it in my starship for now. And I do need to get the, so the uh, sodium going. So, I'm going to put some of it in here, but I'm going to take some out. I'm going to do... Let me get. I hate to have an uneven number in there, because it doesn't come out right. And we're going to get that done. I don't need it right away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my ship, and I'm going to get out of here. Your jetpack's not very good, so you're going to have to take some of the ladders. You don't have a choice, trust me. There we go. And we're going to go up to the space station. Because we need more supplies in order to finish out the base. So rather than mining those materials, you have to hit the base, pardon me, the space, space station anyway. 
So get it done now, and we'll come back. Space station is that way. There we go. Before we hit the space station, we're going to hit that planet right next to it. And if you look at it, it's a hot planet. We need to get a picture of that. So we're going to skim the atmosphere, take a picture, and then come back to the space station. All in good. And the reason why we set up a base on the cold planet is the storms are not as, as horrid as they are here on the hot planet. Hot planet has activated copper, which means it has really bad storms. Yeah. Not very much fun at all. Wait for the chime. There it is. There we go. We're done. Go to the space station. Now, one thing I would love to do right about now is to fight the Sentinels, but... None of them appeared when I was down at my base earlier, so maybe they'll appear next time I go there. Let's we'll see what happens. There we go. Now, we've already sold pretty much everything, right? We already got all of our expedition stuff? Yes, we did. So there should be nothing else in our menu we need to sell except these upgrades. We're going to sell all of them. And if we're lucky, we'll get enough to do exactly everything we need to do before a ship arrives here. So, sell, ship, mining beam, just sell it all. We end up with 2,000. We need two, three, uh, two items now. We need the hyperdrive module. You would normally need the infra knife to install and uninstall for the cadmium, but we got lucky to get one of those. And I'm getting a B-class hyperdrive. So two hyperdrive modules is what I've got in here. Uh, let's go to this here and we need to buy a few things let's get all the ferrite we can we're going to need it uh you do need we already got wiring looms magnetic resonators we got the microprocessors metal plates we need pure ferrite grab that and you need all the pyrite you're going to need it all just in case you can't find any get 20 chlorine please and you're going to need about 175 of the ionized cobalt you don't need it all and you don't want to spend it all 185 is fine Okay. Any ships? We have a ship that landed. Let's see if we can get to him before he takes off. We need chromatic metal, and if we're fortunate enough, he'll be there. If not, we'll grab copper from the other computer, and we'll turn it into chromatic metal, and that'll be all we need. There we go. Uh, let's see. He has tritium. I'm going to grab that. Put it in my ship. I could always use extra. And he happens to have salt. So, I'm going to grab... 33 salt. We can get rid of the chlorine now. There we go. I like to grab dioxide for life support, but we don't really need it now that I think about it. We've got so much extra oxygen, it really doesn't make a difference. Now, I've had a problem with uh, ships arriving here, so we haven't gotten any chromatic metal. We need to get four more words, so maybe someone will show up in the meantime. So let's go get some words done. There's a monthly subject one. There we go. Anybody land? Nope. Let's grab somebody else. Two and three are right here. Looks like there's another one over there on the left, but it could be a plant blowing around. That's three. Yep, there was one guy there. And one more. This is it. Okay, four. That should be my words. And it looks like a ship landed. Hopefully I can get to him in time. Hmm. It looks like we're a word short. I must have miscounted. Right in front of the ship. I couldn't even see him. Let's go ahead and grab that. He has gold. We've already got some. It's probably a good idea we grab about, I don't know, 50 to 100 more, I suppose. That's good. How much is that? That's not much. And I put it in the wrong inventory. Oh, and I need those computers. That's good. Uh, we need three of these. One, two, three. And I'll show you what we'll do with those later. We got Pugnium. We're going to get that later. We got the ionized. We got the axe. Okay, we're good, good here. Anybody else land? Was I fortunate enough? No. All right, so we're going to have to get chromatic metal. And I'll have to get one more word, apparently. Shorter word. I don't know how I miscounted that. This little guy here will be my last word, I believe. Okay, done. Should be it. There it is. Okay, while we're here, by the map, 
guy. Let's go ahead and grab those three maps I was talking about. I'll choose number two. And you want to get these. And it's just a precaution. Grab three of them in case you need them. Again, no ships have landed. I have had horrible luck with getting ships to land here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in here and we're going to grab the copper. It's 375, but it should be enough to do what we need. Okay, good. I think we got everything now. Before we just jump in our ship, I'm going to take the portal back to our base. And do not get the traveler that's up here, guys. It won't help you at all. And now we don't have to fly back to our base, and everything that we need is now in our inventory. So we have everything we need. We even got some silver. We could use more, but we're going to get them from the asteroids later, so we should be good on that. All right. Remember this thing? Let's grab our sodium. Let's put in... Yeah, see, we do have silver in there. Good. Let's put in... Hold on a second here. The copper. Where'd you go? There you are. It's not even, but I can't do anything about it. And I'm going to do that. We're going to get more later. Okay, and while that's going... You see our ships next to us. That's funny. Um, we get all of our animals. We do need to scan for them. There's one more. We need one more animal. Any birds flying around? I don't see any. Let's just take a look for animals, because that's one more thing we need. And you know what? While we're here, maybe there's sweet root flo floating around, huh? Frostwort, of course. Frozen tubers are going to be common around here. Hey, look, bird. And I'll take another look, just because. There's our eight species. Sweet root. Perfect. Bread. Great, 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 great. It can usually be found just about on any planet you go to. I'm tempted on grabbing the oxygen, but I think I've got enough, don't you? Oh, and if you need more uh, carbon, the one plant on this planet that happens to have carbon, watch. Yeah. So if you need carbon, get it from the one plant on the planet. There's not many of them, so when you find them, I've had him give him a lot, give me a lot more than that. Yeah, that one gave me over 200. Unbelievable. All right, so we're gonna create a base here real quick. All right, so we check. We're on homecoming. We're ready to go. First, we need a foundation. Let's go ahead and make that. You see, a lot of it takes ferrite dust. That's the reason why we got that. We need two of these. Wait till it pops up. There you go. One, and you might as well build the second one. It'll see how it turned green over there. It's completed. You can go in here and delete it real quick. Just delete one of them. Next thing you need is you're going to need two of these corridors, I think. One, two. Once it turns green, which it did, we're going to go back in here and delete them. Now we're going to put the door in. And I recommend keeping it there. Along with the access ramp. Okay, now we've got to build things inside. So let's go inside. We can do them on the outside, but I go inside because it protects you from the weather. And I'm going to put this here. This here, there's our health station. Build your landing pad. You've got one in your inventory, but there's a trick to it. Just put it there and immediately go in and delete it. It's not part of what you need to build, but you get batteries, microprocessors from it. It's good to have. Okay, you also have to build your storage containers. Build them for now. You're going to delete them later, but not right this moment. Okay. All right, back inside. I know I'm going in and out. Next thing we want to do is power. We're going to do two batteries. We already have them in our inventory. It's not costing you anything. And the solar panels. One, two. Okay, and that's done. Now, it's currently finished, but while you're here, create a few more things and leave them here. Chair. Hex hexagonal table. The octa cabinet. You should have the resources to be able to build all these. And then three of these wall screens. Put, put them anywhere you like. One, two, three. You can put them right on top of each other, even. And that's it for now. You're going to come back and be uh, building a few more things, but that's pretty much it. And you pay attention to your... See? Rename your base. You don't actually have to rename it. Just go to it. Go in. And just right back out again. And your homecoming is now complete. Pick up your portable refiner, and you're ready to go. We'll come back to this later. All right, so we're set here, folks. The only thing we didn't do is we didn't fight any sentinels, so we're going to do that at our next planet. All right. While we're up here, 
go ahead and get homecoming and you notice that one of the things it gives you is your hyperdrive plants it's also giving you a bunch of other stuff like ferrite dust and things like that now we should have enough to get all this done now while, I have, while I'm here I'm going to get rid of my magnetized ferrite I'm going to put my hyperdrive in okay we've got all the resources to do that hyperdrive upgrades there we go hyperdrive range is now really nice so we shouldn't have to worry about that now Okay, while you're here, go ahead and recharge things up and get them ready to go. You're going to use your Starship uh, launch fuel to do that, and you'll get more later, so don't worry about running out of that. You notice I'm getting a little bit low on chromatic metal, though, right? You need to make... Let's go back to a Starship. You need to make... Hold on. One of these, and you need to make two antimatters. Let's see if we have enough to make them. Just need to make one warp cell, keep the antimatter handy, and drop it in here. And that means we're ready to go. Let's get going. Now, we could go to a pirate system or something like that, but what we're going to do is we're going to go straight to Rendezvous 1. we got some work to do. And with those extra hyperdrive upgrades, you can go pretty far. You're going to get one more hyperdrive later as a milestone, but this will come in very handy. Thirsty work, got to drink once in a while. Ignore the, the slurping sounds. <laughs> so you notice that it's taken us about 34 minutes, 35 minutes or so to do all that. I like to get off the planet usually in about 35 minutes. So As soon as you exit, you notice that you have a space station on the right, but you've also got an asteroid field here. You're also going to get a phone call from Nada. Ignore her. For now, get your asteroids. But we are going to go there in just a moment. Since this is here, just work your way to the other side. If you're about to overheat a little bit, just to give your photon cannon a, a break. And try to line up the little guys if you can. The big ones aren't really going to help you much. You notice we're getting silver. And we're getting everything else. If you think you're going to need more resources like gold and silver, feel free to knock out a couple more rocks. Check real quick. Undo these guys. That's a good amount. Yeah, we got plenty now. And how are we doing on silver? 200? Yeah, we're good. I'm just going to go ahead and grab one more rock because it was right in front of me. All right, call in your anomaly by talking to Nada. Thunk. And he's there. Now you notice we haven't even gone to Rendezvous 1 yet, right? We'll come back. Don't worry. Let's check to see how many resources we have. We've got 1,600 nanites. It's probably not going to be enough. We're going to need a little bit more. Let's go ahead and grab this. And we don't need to sell these. That's okay. You can go ahead and put them in your ship for now. And on your person. There we go. Like that. Okay. And, of course, the furthest parking space possible. Thank you. I want premium parking, but I can't get it. Do a double hop to get up. It recharges immediately, so. All right, let's talk to Nada. And we're not going to go through everything. So we're going to do one. We're going to do one again. And then we're going to choose number two, which is to leave. And he's going to tell us to talk to Polo. Polo, we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to do it immediately. We're just going to hit two to leave. And he doesn't talk to you anymore. Okay. So now we're going to head down here. And you can talk to this guy, but there's no need to. You don't need anything from him anyway. Go straight into here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And get your ceiling light. And then right-click a couple times and you're out of there. I save it just in case because... An extra one just in case, in case you accidentally select something you didn't need to. Uh, Traveler new. Okay, we're just going to go into here, and there's a couple things we need to buy. Now, we didn't get our hazmat gauntlets yet, okay? But we're going to go ahead and do that. It's 80. We don't need them, but we're going to get it anyway, because we have to. Oh, I hate when they do that. We need, not the personal refiner, which you get as a reward. You need this, the Mark II, because it has double. Now, we only have 585 left, so let's just hit this multi-tool guy real quick. Because we just need the one upgrade, which is the advanced mining laser. 
and we're going to need more nanites because we have to get unfortunately unstable gel as a recipe to do that head over here we had to head over here anyway and talk to helios first go ahead turn in whatever data he's asking for and you're going to get 180 nanites Go back over here to Ares, and you'll get anywhere between five to seven hundred nanites. Usually five or six hundred. Same thing. Transmit milestone data, and there we go. Six hundred eighty nanites. That should get us what we need, because we only need seven hundred fifty all total. Okay, computer. Just go to the right, and you need to get acid, lubricant and then unstable gel. All right, I'm gonna show you what we're doing with all this. Remember the recipe you got for the double refiner? Well, that's what you needed the ionized cobalt for, 120. That's what you needed two magnetic resonators for and the three computers for. Done. Go back in here, drop some carbon in, which remember you got about 400 carbon as a reward. And you can do some more copper if you wish, but while we're in here, what I'm going to tell you to do is to drop in... Remember that pyrite I told you to get? Drop that in, and then drop in the oxygen. Set this amount to 200, and it makes cactus flesh. Now you don't have to harvest any, or find any on a pilot. Just let it run. It takes a minute. While it's running, let's do some running ourselves. We're going to head straight back out, because the next spot we have to hit is the Nexus. Just land on top of it. It's easier. There we go. Just exit. Turn around. And go back up. Now we're going to do a little bit more running here. We're going to run to the portal. Because we have to complete this particular milestone. Just go into the menu of the portal. Exit the menu of the portal. And then run back to Nada. This will complete everything you need to do inside the anomaly. Talk to Priest Nada. And he's going to talk about the Crimson Liar. Just go through the conversation. And that's it. You now have access to find the Atlas. Run back to the portal. You'd think we'd be going to the ship, but we're not. We're going to go back to our base. There's a trick to this. So first thing we're going to do is go back to our base. Let's do that. Now we do have to collect some of our milestones real quick. One of them is the milestone to do um, your wonder projector. And then we're also going to place the light. But we have some things we got to build, and that's what your eight glass was for. Anytime now. There we go. We made it. Okay. Go back over here. Let's get our milestone real quick. So that is going to be... Where'd it go? That was the Stardust. That's it. Okay. Got to tell you all about it, too. All right. And if you want to, you can collect other things like this one. This gives you more carbon. I'm going to go ahead and do it, even though I don't need the plans or the scanning, scanning system upgrade. But I kind of would like to have the carbon just in case. And finally, you can get this if you want, the efficient thrusters, a translation unit, and the salvage data. If you need more money, that could come in really handy. But we're not going to collect it for our intents and purposes at this time. What we are going to do is go into phase two and select expand your base, and it's going to tell us what to do. We need to do three angled windows. Let's go back inside for a moment and protect ourselves. So let's put them here. One, two, three. Okay. The next thing it tells you to do is to... There we go. Three glass roofed corridors, right? So we're going to make them. One. And I think we can put them here. Yep. Let's go down outside to do it because that octa cabin is going to get in the way of what we need to do. Can we put it on this side? Yep, I guess it'll have to be over here. That's interesting. One. Two. Two. Three. Now, once it confirms that they're complete, delete those three. Okay? Then it tells you to do a biodome. Now, you've got the glass back to do the biodome. Even though it's flashing on the 
the other ones, don't worry about it. Now it's going to tell you to do the light. Just put it anywhere. Okay. And do your wonder projector while you're here. And done. That milestone is now complete. You want the resources? Gather them. You don't need the glass anymore, but there is one thing you can get. I'll be doing that in just a second. Don't worry. Pick up these one at a time. Because they get magnetized ferrite, and you're also going to get other nice things that you can really use. There we go. Got them all. And did we get our... Yeah, let's get those two. Got those. Okay, and we're out. And now you can just pick up everything. And you get all the resources back. No more mess. And you get all the sodium, the sodium nitrate, and everything that you need. And we're done. Now rather than getting in our ship, return to the space anomaly. So you've completed everything you needed to on that planet. You'll never have to come back to that base again. And this is the last time you'll be coming back to the anomaly. Now we can go straight on to Rendezvous 1. Now Rendezvous 1 has a couple nice prizes and treasures for you. It's a nice planet, first of all, so get some of these things done is a good place to do it at. We'll be fighting our Sentinels here, too. You've already talked to Nada, so you can just leave. And plus, it puts your ship in a better place to get to. On our way. Make sure you get the things that are necessary if you want to get these things. You don't need the personal refiner or the glass or anything like that, so... All right, off we go. And there's our rendezvous. Let's go ahead and head there. On we go. This is one of the furthest places you're gonna have to go to. It takes the longest to get there. So any upgrades you want to install right about now, good time to do it. The scanner module, I can't really use it and I'm not gonna need any more nanites. But I'm just gonna go ahead and install it anyway just to get it out of my inventory. I could delete it. I don't really particularly care for that. So I'm gonna get rid of that. We're gonna put the optical drill in, which reminds us Put in our advanced mining laser. We need another wiring loom, right? So what should we do about that? We're going to need more of those. And I didn't get as enough, as you can see. So what I'm going to do... Let me get my life support gel in there. What I'm going to do is go in here and uninstall... Oh, multi-tool. That. And that'll give us what we need. There we go. And I'm going to need a few more of those. So we'll keep an eye out for more upgrades as we need them. Because we're going to need at least five more later on. All right, we're a little off, but that's okay. Go straight to Rendezvous 1. Rendezvous 1 on this planet, by the way, is a, an archive. Should be just to the left, right where that safe beacon is, basically. Just to the left of that yellow symbol. Now... We don't need to do anything at this point. We've got all the words we need. We've got everything else we need. Hopefully my audio is playing okay. Because everything got real, real glitchy all of a sudden. Let's make sure we get a save point just in case. Alright, so we're going to pick up here. And you only need to go as far as the first desk. Right there. If there's anything you need, get it from him. Actually, you know what? While I'm here, I forgot about this. He has wiring loops. Let's get three of those. And let's check the other terminal just to make sure there's not two more in here, because I could use two more. Nope, no more. Okay, that's fine. A couple of the upgrades we get, we'll just install and uninstall them real quick. All right, we're good here. All right, the next step is... What? That's not my ship. Excuse you. <laughs> went the wrong way. The next step for this is that we're going to head in a northeasterly direction. Somebody give me my ship, please. Happens every single time, doesn't it? All right. So we're going to head northeast. So check your direction and go this way. The coordinates we're looking for are positive 5340, positive 164. You see both numbers are counting up. Okay, we want to head more easterly at this point, because we're just about there. Oh, more northerly. Pardon me. My bad. This way. 
because we're at the 164 now. And we just want to get to 53. 52. And 53. Good. Go back to first person. See the antenna sticking out of the water right there? That is your underwater freighter, as you can see right here. So we're going to go ahead and land here. And it's not going to let us. So we're going to land here. Having a little trouble landing lately. As more people create more bases. There we go. And we got two things we're doing here. So let's hit the... Let's hit this way first. Over here on this other island, you're going to see there happens to be an ancient relic. Let's hit that. Use the, f the ability to fast swim to get your places a lot quicker than having to take off and re-land in your ship and wasting valuable starship food fuel. Just go through it, and you want to choose number two, Knowledge of the Past. And it's going to mark for you a treasure chest. And that's going to complete another milestone once you go and bury that. treasure chest is not far away. It's about a minute by ship. Go back towards your ship. Again, fast swimming. And then head towards the freighter. Destination for you is going to be to the right of the freighter. And go straight down. Look for the red glow down there. And go through the dialogue. This takes a little bit, guys. Unfortunately. Just go through it. If you feel like reading it all, you go right ahead. I've already read it twice, three times, twelve times. I don't know how many times I've read it now. I've lost track of how many times. Last sentence. Multitudes. Head back towards the red glow up there, towards your ship, but not towards that. We're going to go upwards towards this. Because going straight back to your ship in slow motion is going to take too long. So we're going to use this up here to boost us towards our ship. There we go. Start heading towards your ship, run, and use the fast swim technique. There we go. A lot quicker this way. Alright. So the underwater freighter is now complete. Let's head towards that treasure chest. My suggestion, head up into the upper atmosphere and just come right back down again. Because it's right there. This will get you there a little bit quicker. So again, we're going to do two things here. know why it thinks we're just arriving at the planet for the first time but that's okay landing here is a little bit easier usually there we go remember where you parked because you're gonna need it all right switch over to your terrain manipulator head for the archway switch to your largest setting and just go down the, the walkway there's your first key your second key, there's more than one key here, folks. There's a lot of keys, but this is the easiest one. Your second one is right there inside this. And your third one, if you follow this walkway down and to the right, is going to be right about there. Just got to get through the rocks. There it is, right there. There it is, three. Okay, go back to your archway. And go straight down. And here's your treasure chest. Unlock it for another milestone. It's usually a pretty valuable one, so you probably want to hang on to that. There you go. Switch over to your bolt caster. Make sure it's fully loaded and ready. Let's upset some sentinels. We're going to take their gravitino ball. They're going to pop up over here. Get up a little bit higher so you can hit them. And trust me, they're going to hit pretty hard. But earlier on... They don't hit as hard. We want to count out 15, so that's 2, 3, 4, 
five. Six. Seven. Now, if you hit this guy early, he will run away, and then you'll get more than one. I suggest use your ship for protection. Because he will melt your shields and bring you down quicker than you can imagine. Got him. And if you find yourself damaged, there you go. Grab the other two green ones. Now we should be up to, let's go to number four, I think it is. We're up to nine. So we need six more. Since we're done with this planet, there's no more to do here once they have, once you've completed them all. So just get the six more. One. Two. Three. Four. Ah, get him. Five. And get the other guy. Six. Reload. Get in your ship. Take off. And immediately try to get into hyperspace. Excellent. That worked out great. Your next destination is the Atlas. So let's head towards there. And we'll gather up our milestone rewards here in just a couple moments. Now we've gotten our 15 Sentinels. That's another milestone completed. And we are running at about, I think, 55 minutes or so. 50, maybe 50 minutes. A lot of milestones completed, and we'll go through them in just a second as we're entering the Atlas, and we'll take a look. Now, if running away from the planet isn't your best option, and you don't feel safe doing that, run away from them, dig a hole, and get a little bit deep, and just start tunneling around. And you'll be safe from them. Alright, let's check real quick. So, in, in number one, we're completed. We're done with it now. Research project has also been completed as well. Now, we've got some stuff in here we can take and install and uninstall. There are two things right there that might be worth it. Grab this because you need your three you need the warp cells times ten. You can always use the inventory slots. And this gives you more quicksilver. See, it's really, really worth it. Um, I don't need the companion egg, so I'm not gonna grab it. I am gonna grab that though, because I want to uninstall it. We don't really need that. Let's go back in here real quick. Uh, let's see. You notice we have these now. We can charge that back up fully. And you can put that in for now. We'll uninstall it later. Where is our... There they are. We've got four of them now. Okay, good. Good. And we're doing good. And you can get rid of the other stuff. You're not really going to need a whole lot of money at this point, but we're doing very, very well. Uh, we've got a lot of in inventory here, don't we? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, let's get out of the ship. Okay, get the Atlas up. Now make sure your ship's... Um, pardon me, I went to the wrong menu. Thrusters. Yeah, he's good. Okay. Make sure it's charged because it's going to kick you out of here soon. If you think you need extra warp cells, go ahead and grab those. I don't need them. Okay, resist, and then it's going to kick me out and throw me on another planet. Off we go. So as we head over to this other planet, we have plenty of launch thruster fuel, so we should just be able to call our ship in. Now, normally where I land on this planet, if you haven't found any sweet route, you can usually find it here, pretty close by. Hopefully nobody has created a base where we're about to land. We'll see in a moment. Okay. Yeah. I spoke too soon. <laughs> or maybe I doomed myself. If you want to, you can do this. There we go. Now you can just pull in your ship. And if you look around, you've got plenty of oxygen. 
You've also got uh, impulse beans, pulpy roots, sweet root right here. So you can go grab some sweet root if you need it. Okay, well, let's go. So we are literally done with this planet. So we got a couple things to claim in our milestones. Let's check them out. All right, so again, one is all completed. Two, we have Atlas Rises, and what do we get? We get Memory of the Ocean, Warp Hyper Cores, and Supreme Hyperdrive Upgrade. We could use all of that. With you. So we're going to be making that. You notice we have Silicate Powder, we've got plenty of it, Tritium, and Salt. So remember to get extra Silicate Powder if you need it. All right. Now, before we get started... Go ahead and put this in. Gives us a big boost to our hyperdrive range. We could use it later. And we got these in case we need them. All right, let's go ahead and create our memory of the ocean. Now we got that created. I just remembered something. Let's go ahead and pull stuff out of here. Right? This is our ship. All right. And if we need some condensed carbon, how are we doing on that? Let's check real quick. I never did do that. Let's go ahead and just convert that real quick. We don't need the extra salt, but it just gets it out of the inventory. Okay, and where's the other one? Condensed carbon, right? So there's oxygen. We have a good amount of condensed carbon. I don't think we're going to be hurting for it anytime soon. Okay, good. And how are we doing on dihydrogen? We do need dihydrogen. Let me go ahead and get that going. So we don't have anything to make it with, except this. It doesn't give us a lot, but it gives us enough. Okay, good. Back to the starship. So remember that unstable gel? I'm just going to move it over to my other inventory. There we go. Assembly required is now complete. All right. Pulse drive. Go into your menu. Select your memory. Get ready to exit and talk to the beastie that shows up. There we go. Just go through it real quick. And you're back get the reward. Go to the back to the milestones. We're going to do all of them right now. Okay. Back into your menu. And it's going to give you some more stuff. Just uninstall it. Reinstall it. Uninstall it. See, that gave us that upgrade as well. That stuff that we can use in our inven other inventory. Let's move you out of the way. Okay. And this, by the way, good for the hyperdrive. Alright. Memory of Conquest. Chromatic Metal. Magnetized Ferrite. Sodium Nitrate. Let's go ahead and make that. While we're waiting, pull that out. We're going to need it in a little bit. So, you can select it now if you want, but I don't think it'll do anything. Yeah, we have to wait until we're pulsing before we can select it. Talk to the next, in this case, big rock. And done. Get that reward. Back to the milestones. That's in the next phase. That's phase three. So, unbounded. There we go. New memory. You see, we needed that dihydrogen. We were just a little bit short. And the ionized cobalt as well. We needed this. This is the big thing we needed. I'm going to make sure that that's up there. Let's go and get the next one. This is the memory of bones. Pulse drive. Into your menu. Selected. done. Talk to the next one. This time we're talking to a skeleton. Well, that's a big dude, isn't he? And reward. That's in this phase. Deep glass. Memory of the void. And we get a launch auto charger out of this, I think. Pulse engine module. We're going to go ahead and uninstall this one. Put it in. We're going to uninstall this one. Put it in. And I move this over to my other inventory. We got plenty of these now, right? Okay, memory of the void. Select it. And this is the last one. And talk to the eye. And do your best not to upset him. Okay. Okay, so now we're done there. 
back to our escape menu. So basically, one is complete, two is almost complete. We haven't done the black hole yet, but we're going to be do that in a little bit. We're going to go to Rendezvous 2 next, uh, but we're going to stop at some places on the way. We still need to photograph some environments, so let's get this stuff out of the way, shall we? Back to hyperspace. Now, you're heading to number two. That's where it's sending you. All the way up here. Okay. When you're looking at number two from a different perspective, you're going to see some of the red stars nearby. You're looking for a system called, there it is, Platon Thon. That's the system I suggest you go to. Platon Thon. You can see where it is in relation to that. So go ahead and select it and go. In this system, you're going to find two things for you. The first one is we're going to find the dead planet here. It's immediately upon exiting. Occasionally, you'll come out into a pirate battle. This is not one of those times. It is right behind you, to the left. Head for this particular edge right here. Why is that? Because we're going to be leaving the atmosphere rather quickly and what we need to get to next is on the other side of the planet. Dive down. Wait till you get the beep beep. Take a picture. Grand tour complete. We're going to get that milestone reward here in just a moment. Keep going straight out for a little ways. Stop. Wait right about here. And all the ships need to pop up and then into the away from those ships and go further south if you can. There we go. You might get into a pirate battle in just a moment. Get Grand Tour and you get your nutrient processor. We're going to be using that in just a minute. There's our hostile scan. If you have the money to do so, which we really don't, you can try bribing them. Otherwise, let them pop up and just go straight forward and keep going as fast as you can. If you want to, you can fight him. Because this guy doesn't want to leave me alone. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of him real quick. He's only one. There we go. And you don't need to collect anything. Just go back to the planet you were heading towards. With the rings around it. Try to head away from the ships that just popped up in orbit. A lot of ships like to pop up. I don't know why. This, as you can see, is a bladed planet. It does say aggressive sentinels, but you don't have to worry about them. They won't show up unless you touch their gravitinos. Land. And you're going to do two things here. Doesn't make a difference where you land. Nice open spot like this is perfect. And as you land, look around, you're going to notice that the creatures that you're looking for should show up immediately. They're flappy creatures. There they are. Scan them. You got your anomalous animal done. There it is. Complete. Drop down your nutrient processor, which you just got. And you're going to cook some food. Have to light wheat one time. Just get one of them. Put it back in your inventory. Do the same with the sweet root. Sweet root. There you are. There you go. You can put it right back into your nutrient processor with your flour. It makes the dough. And add any other ingredient here that you wish. I'm just going to drop this back in here. It makes a healthy wheat block. You have to have one other ingredient, though. And you're... Milestone is complete. Leave it behind. You don't need it. I know it feels weird to do that. Just go ahead and leave. There we go. And we're done with the system now. No need to continue. Go to R2 now. You'll notice it is literally 35 light years from there. Okay? We've got a few things we're going to do here. Yes, I know. Every time you turn around, I'll go to another system. I'm just coming into R2, the, the Rendezvous 2 system, and I'm still telling you there's a few things we're going to do. There's a few things we're going to do. Trust me, it'll work out. All right, let's see where we are.
All right. So we're going to head towards R2, but not quite. First thing I'm going to do is go into my menu here, and I'm going to choose that carrier AI. And guess what? It found me a ship. Let's go to the ship first. And let's get this out of the way. Then we'll come back and do rendezvous too. Why do this? Because the planet you're going to is re really, really close. Number one. Number two. It's right behind this planet, and it's a moon. The moon, by its very nature, is much, much smaller than a planet. Therefore, the resources you need are much closer together. Makes it a wonderful planet to do this from. Keep a notice on what's around you. Got a whole oxygen patch, is that right? Uh, probably. Okay, and looks like we got a dude up there too. Alright, let's get the ship first. Wacky looking ship, by the way. Oh, it's an A-class, huh? Nice. Okay, and check your inventories and see which inventory you can put this in. You need, you don't need the Pugnium anymore, but it's good to have it. Put the brain in your ship, though. And then use your scanner. It'll tell you which way you can find your stuff. Now, even though it tells me to go hit it over there, it is behind that nice little uh, mirror uh, digging guy, which means that he'll get pissed off at us if we do it from there. There's a whole bunch over there, too. There's only one over there. Let's go to this other bunch. None of the animals here will hurt you in any way. Make sure you're on your mining beam. You need three of these crystals. Now, if you plan on taking the ship, get more. Get at least six. I recommend... That's what I recommend. I recommend six, just in case. Radiant Shard and Radiant Shard. All right, head back towards the... Where'd he go? Should be right there. There he is. Okay, and pull out your bolt caster. Trust me, you have plenty of ammunition. You're not pull pulling up a big fight here. You just need to take out the dissonant digger over there. Okay. Where is he? There he is. We're going to tick some people off, though. Oh, he's done. Ah, oh, we got an echo locator. Ah, I hate when that happens. That's okay. Just follow the directions. 414 units. Okay, because we shot the little sentinel dude, more sentinels are appearing. And we've got a longer time. That's okay, I don't mind. Normally I'd be happy at getting a, uh, at one of those. Echo locators. Mirror. Got it. Head in a direction. Wait till it starts counting. Oh. Dude's right here. I'm gonna go in a different direction. I didn't realize they were right there. Usually you can run away and this only lasts about 10 seconds. Hmm. Cave sounds like a good place to go. Miles ahead in the... Oh. Maybe they won't find me here. This is a good spot. Perfect. Good deal. And there's my ship. Yeah, we'll take care of that in a minute. Now, remember, you got plenty of launch fuel. Use it. Okay, once you're in your ship, go into your menu, select the brain. It'll tell you where you need to go. that way. 14 seconds away. Oop. 
slow down. And we're out. You don't have to go up the steps. Just do it from down here. Go through the menu. They're going to make the uh, it make it into a uh, calm brain instead of an Abbey normal one. Okay, back to your ship. Again, if you want to keep this ship, that's up to you. These ships here, I'm not too keen on. Oh, look at that, an archive. Aren't, I'm not too keen about. It remind me of, like, Tesla school buses or something. I don't know what you want to call it. I think they're kind of ugly. That's just me. Okay, landed a little too far away. I'm not used to it dropping down immediately, but whatever. All right. Head over. Drop it in. And you have to claim it. I was too far away. Oh yeah, do the big pullback. Have all the time in the world. Claim the ship, and you're done. I'm just going to go back to my other ship, and I'm going to get out of here. Off we go. All right. And where are we going? Obviously, we're going to Rendezvous 2. Let's make sure it's selected, because I don't think it is for some reason. There we go. It's taking us over here, but that's not quite true. There we go. Because it wanted to take us out of the curvature of the moon. Okay, we're almost there. Alrighty. Storm going on, and you're coming at it from a much different direction than normal. Now, Rendezvous 2 is going to be a portal. I just want to get over it before I dive down. Now, if you have a storm and you can't quite make it out, go to this particular landing pad. It is right between everything you need. Down. Portal is over here. See these trees here? Just head right for that little notch right there. And because it's a storm, your jetpack is increased in power. Unless you hit an animal like that. There we go. And there's your portal. Land near it. Rendezvous 2. Turn around and look and get the unknown grave. Now I'm going to get my life support going. There we go. And because I've got a good jetpack right now, I'm going to keep jetpacking all the way over here. And we'll get our thermal protection fixed. Got plenty of batteries for that. Use them. In the middle of a storm, this is easier. Otherwise, you can use your ship. Pull the ship in. Don't forget to recharge your thrusters when you get into it. And you need this guy. This gives you the Fallen. Remember that. It's part of Phase 5. Recharge. Oh, they don't have to be recharged. What do you know? We got one more takeoff. That's because I landed on a landing pad. Alright. Claim the Fallen. Right here. Specialized warp blueprints is what you're after. Put it right here. Indium drive. You got the emerald to do it. They did that purposely. And that's what you needed the extra wiring looms for. So we're all done here. Even though our inventory's full, we're in very, very good shape. Take care of that while I'm here. Okay, so we're done with this system. It says to locate a black hole, but you know what we're going to do next? One is complete, two is complete except for the black hole. Three is nearly complete except for Rendezvous 2 and the smuggling of contraband. Well, we need to do that next. Now, if we're fortunate, select that, go into hyperspace. If you're good, you're going to find a planet nearby. There we go. I don't even want to try to pronounce that. There's a planet here that you can go to that is a pirate planet. And that is basically where you can go. There is another one near number three. If we go down here, that's called Naturasin. Let me see, where's three? Three's right here. So I think it's up here. There it is. 
Now, Turrisen is also a pirate system if you'd like to go there. It's up to you. So either system will work. But since this one's marked, we're going to go ahead and use it. And if it's not marked, you know the names now. Now you know where to find them. So we're going to do the pirate trading here, and then we're going to do a black hole immediately following. Since the only way to sell these things is in a space station, and the only way to get back after you go through the black hole is through a space station, you know what to do. Pirate battle. We're going to go ahead and skip it. The pirate station should be right over here. I can't find it now. I'll find it. Don't worry. It's around here someplace. There we go. <laughs> Just head for the pirate station. You could go uh, interrupt the battle if you want to. That's up to you. But we don't need to. We're going to be leaving the system rather quickly. Hmm. Nice parking space. Now, you don't really have enough credits to buy this stuff, but you've acquired so many things. I didn't intend to do that that you can sell a good amount of stuff. Like this, 810. Get rid of your, any extra items you no longer need. I don't really need that. It doesn't cost much, but it's taking up space. Hmm. One Atlantidium. I think we can get rid of that. I don't think we need the Mordite anymore either, or the Unstable Gel that we made, or the Echo Locator. Salvage Glass is handy, but I'm going to hang on to it. Quad Servo, goodbye. Gravitino Ball, goodbye. Look at all the salvage data. Just get rid of all of it. Unless you want to take it with you on your main save. I think you got plenty of money now, don't you? Buy all of these illegal market goods. And you're done. If you find yourself in need of any of the things down here, go ahead and grab them. But you're not going to need them. Okay. And we're done. Into our ship. Take off. And go straight to hyperspace. Look for a black hole. You can just hit your... Um, Destination, it'll take you to the closest one. This one looks like it's far away, but it's really not. There you go, 232 light years. Now, as you exit hyperspace, I recommend just going full speed. Just keep your thrusters and everything held down. You'll get to the black hole a lot quicker. Now, when you get on the other side of the black hole, there's a possibility, since you avoided the battle you just came from, you may get into another battle there. At full speed, we should hit it pretty quick. There we go. And we're in the black hole. So now we're killing two birds with one stone. We would have had to hit the space station afterwards anyway. Now we can just hit it in order to sell our goods and then teleport back to our previous rendezvous. So I think we're about an hour and 10, hour and 15 minutes done now. Your space station is right over there. Thought for just a moment it might have been a pirate station. I was wrong. Okay, and we're landing. And there we go. Let's hop out. Head over to the terminal and sell. And look for anything purple. There it is. There it is. There it is. We're done. And there's our achievement. Get the station terminus immediately. Space stations. Look for one that says Rendezvous 2. Any moment now. My computer takes a little bit longer to get through these portals. It's always to the left. Alright. And that's done. We're back to Rendezvous 2. 
We're going to go straight into hyperspace. We don't need the voice of freedom anymore, that's for sure. All right. Now, it may take you to the wrong menu. Make sure you have expedition path selected. Okay, so we're heading over to Rendezvous 3. Now, as we're on, heading to the planet on Rendezvous 3, we're going to check out the uh, expedition milestones real quick so we see where we're at. And we should be able to finish this up in probably the next 15 minutes or so. Because you're going to find that we've completed a whole ton of milestones. There we go. Where's our rendezvous? There it is, right there, straight ahead. And we're on our way. And while we're heading there, let's take a look, shall we? So one is complete now. Two, nearly complete. You can do your research by... To do the research projects, all you need to do is scan one animal, one plant, and one rock on each planet. So, rendezvous. Th this is number three. That's what we're heading towards right now. Three is going to be ne nearly complete now. Four, we just got to do the milestone for a rendezvous. Five, got to visit a blue star. Rendezvous five, and then the atlas. In that order... We're going to do it in that order. So anything that is RNG related, gathering items, shooting sentinels, all completed. You're done. All you need to do now is travel, land, get up, go. And as you can see, it was much easier to do it this way. Most of your time is spent on the first planet, and it's very time consuming. Rendezvous 3, by the way, is a freighter. Look for the big orange ball. Once it appears. Okay, not appearing for me here today. Did I come at it from the wrong angle? I am at Rendezvous 3, am I not? Let's take a wider view real quick. Well, folks, I've run into a little bit of a problem here. My rendezvous doesn't want to show up. Alright, let's land. Take a look. Supposedly, straight in front of me. Let's take another look, shall we? You see anything that looks like a freighter to you? Okay. Supposedly, I am at the freighter right now. So, I think we have a little bit of a problem here. Let me pull in my ship. I have never seen that happen before. There should be a big old freighter hanging out here. Let's reload, and I'm going to pause you guys for just a second. Right back. Okay, and we're back. And as you can see, it just appeared. <laughs> and where's my ship? <laughs> it is inside the freighter. I hope I have enough juice for this. Let me see. Yeah, I do. Okay, good. That was hilarious. So apparently the freighter just kind of vanished from our radar. It was absolutely hilarious. First time I've ever run across, across that. All right. Let's go ahead and get going. So, <laughs> Rendezvous 3 is complete. 
It is not the freighter you're looking for. Whoop, okay. Gotta get away from the asteroids a little bit. Alright, so we're gonna go to Rendezvous 4. Now, we do need to hit a blue star system. You're not gonna hit any at any of the rendezvous. Just pick one. Yeah, this one looks good. That was hilarious. I don't even know what to say. I've never run across that before where it just absolutely vanished and I ended up stumbling across it on foot by accident. Alright, and you don't need to stay here long. Just let it give you the achievement, there it is, and you can leave. Okay, so that's another milestone completed. And right there. Yeah, there look, there's Platon Thon too. Go figure. Very, very close by to where our Rendezvous 4 is. Because it just has you going back and forth across one sector of the galaxy here. And now 4 and 5 are both going to be portals. There we go. And it should be telling me it's down here, I believe. Yes, there it is. Hopefully we can get locked in on it and not on one of those bases that people love to build near them. Of course, get locked in on a base. Okay. Portal, I want to say it's pretty close by. I don't quite remember. There it is, just to the left. So if you can't find it in the storm, it's just to the left of the point it's telling you to go to. Yeah, I destroyed a tree on the way down. Sorry. Okay, far side. There you go. Back to your ship, and you're done with four. Again, you can scan one plant, one animal, and one rock to get the optional milestones if you wish. That'll give you a lot more Quicksilver, so yes, I do recommend it. Okay. Now, it tells us to go to the Atlas, which is really far away from Rendezvous 5. As you can see, Rendezvous 5 is that direction, and the Atlas it wants to take you to is all the way over there. I suggest going to Rendezvous 5 first all the way over here much easier and then finish your expedition inside the atlas there's another atlas planet very close by to where rendezvous 5 is so all in all this video is about an hour and a half long give or take We gotta select it. Hold on a second here. There. And I think it's over this way. There it is. I think we locked in finally. There we go. And 30 seconds away from the planet. So about 45 seconds all total before landing. And then we just have to go to the Atlas. And we're not locked in on it. You can tell by as you're coming towards it, it'll start drifting one way or the other. It'll drift a little bit to the right or to the left. See how it's drifting just a touch to the left every now and then? That means we're locked in on something right next to it. Probably somebody's base. Please, for the love of all that's holy. I love the fact that you folks love this game. You like to create a base near the rendezvous, but stop uploading them to the servers. Because we get all locked in to the wrong things as we're trying to do our runs here. All right. Portals is really close by where it points you. There it is, right there. Again, same thing. One rock, one animal. Go ahead and do that real quick if you want. There's a rock. Just choose a plant nearby. There's a plant. And if you can see one animal... If you see one animal, no animals are showing up right now. In the middle of a storm. I just want to show this to you real quick here, guys.
Any red dots floating around? Anybody? Anybody? You're watching it after recording it. You're not helping, so don't tell me. Yep. Animals have seen... Oh, that's right. There are no animals on this planet. My bad. There's no animals here. One rock, one plant. To, point, to proof, proof of point. No planetary fauna. So you just have to get the one, one flora, one mineral. And to see where we are with that, if you go over here to the expedition research, it'll tell you how far we are. We're at 85%. We're going to hit it before the weekend, folks. Easily. The next couple days, we'll hit that. There we go. And we're done. So five is complete. Let's go on to the atlas. There we go. And you'll have to sometimes select it in the menu. There we go. Atlas station. Straight shot to this guy right here. We're on our way. And this will complete out the entire... The entire... Expedition. And we'll be all complete. Done. Finished. And, of course, if you did the optional milestones, what I would suggest doing, especially if you did it from a main save, uh, and you did it through the anomaly, is do not end it. Just tell it you want to exit the expedition temporarily. Get all your milestones complete, get all the stuff that you want to get organized and everything like that, and once that meteor hits 100%, go back in and complete the fifth optional milestone to get the extra quicksilver out of it, and then you'll be complete. 100%ed it, as you want to put it that way. Alright, so here we are. Last step. If you didn't get all your, your words, by the way, each two of these bubbles, this one here and the one behind me on the platform behind me, will give you a word each. So, something to remember. And this is it. You just got to go through the one selection. And you're done. And the ending music. Q. There it is. Your expedition is now complete. And there we go, folks. And that is the end of this. So I'm going to go ahead and... Let me go ahead and give a wave to everybody, because I think that's polite. Thanks for watching, folks. Appreciate it. So let's go and see where we ended up, shall we? I'm going to get out to the mode select... And we'll see how much time this whole expedition took me. Ready? One hour and six minutes. So one hour and six minutes in-game to complete it. Okay? Even though it took us about an hour and a half. Of course, we did have some weird things that occurred, of course. We had to reload. I had to reload twice. I had to actually reload the game in, entire, in its entirety one time. But there you go. One hour, six minutes is what it took me to do that. And that was just a very free-going... Uh, explaining as we go type of, of atmosphere. My current record now is 58 minutes, as you all are aware, and it looks like that just might stand. I don't know if anyone's going to come close to it. But then again, thank you very much. This was all for your information only, and to be able to do this in a quicker fashion and in a very efficient fashion to get it done, as I said in my description. Thank you again for watching. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Remember, folks, those of you who come from Twitch who are watching this over on YouTube, subscribing to the channel doesn't cost anything. It's like following, like on Twitch. You just hit the follow button if you like what you've been seeing. Well, over here, you just hit subscribe. Thank you very much, folks. Take care. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.